Welcome to Latvia in Riga we are and it's the day of the pre-party 2018 and with us now we have the lady that's going to represent Latvia at the Eurovision Song Contest. It is Laura Risotto from Latvia. Hello Laura, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good, it's good to be back in Latvia. I came here in 2003 for the Eurovision Song Contest. Oh nice, very did, cool. Did you at that time watch it already, Eurovision? Um, let me see, I don't think so because I was, let me see, in 2003 I was nine. And I think I started a little bit later on. I was still fighting with my brother to be able to use the computer. He wouldn't let me as a kid. Uh, it was a whole thing. Well, now you know you're part of the Eurovision family. Yes. So how does it feel for you to be a musical ambassador? Mm, it's such an honor. I think it has such a sense of purpose, which I think is really special, representing Latvia through music. So I, I was so flattered that they picked me to be a part of this, and I can't wait. We sing in the song "Funny Girl." Yes. Can you tell us a bit about the song? What is what is part of it? Or what's the message in it? Um, so Funny Girl tells the story of a girl who fell in love with her best friend and she always made him laugh, they had a great time together, but she never told him how she felt until she decided to do that, but um, by then it was too late and he had fallen in love with someone else and she became friend zoned, right? She was just the funny girl, the girl who made him laugh. And my message with this is you feel feel a certain way about someone, tell them, you know, embrace vulnerability, don't be afraid of really taking a risk because that's when you have the most to gain. And yeah, I think it's just about people owning um, what they want to do with their lives and be able to kind of go for it and not just watch everything happen from the sidelines mm -hmm. like the funny girl did. So, yeah. Well, when we were reading, preparing for this interview, we were reading about, about you and your, your biography basically and, and my colleague from the UK said it's like a, a singing United Nations. Oh my God. Because you, you, you have been like born in Brazil, you, mm -hmm. you have Portuguese mother, a Latvian daddy. And uh, you have lived all over the place. Can you tell us a bit about your background, musical background? Okay, so um, actually my dad is Latvian and my dad's side of the family has Latvian descent. My grandma is from Liepaja here in Latvia. And then my mom is Brazilian with Portuguese descent. So she has Portuguese roots. So this is a very interesting mix this year for Eurovision because like presenting Latvian in Portugal is super special. Um, but yeah, I was born and raised in Rio and I've been living in the US for almost six years now. Um, I was having, I had a career in, in Rio as a singer-songwriter, I was Universal Music at the time there with my first album and then I won an international career and to study music in the US so I moved there and I lived in Boston and in LA for my second album and now I'm in New York where I graduated from my masters and I'm working on my third project so I'm super excited. Well, so how, how did then your vision come into your life basically? I mean I've been keeping up with the, pro the, with the contest for years now and it was just, I've always watched it but I never thought that I would be in it and it, 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 I bumped into a story about Supernova when I was doing research to travel to Latvia because mm -hmm. we were coming here, planning to come here already for the summer for Dias Mesbetis which is a song and dance festival and I was like, you know what? I should submit. Why not? And and it worked out. So, Fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. I guess wow. it was just like serendipity. We, well, also we have some some news. You're gonna be singing. Yeah. I'm gonna be singing at the. I'm gonna be doing two uh, Brazilian jazz shows with Michael Pipoquinha here on April 4th and April 8th in Riga, and I'm super excited. And I'm also a part of the Riga Jazz Stage this year, so it's a, um, a jazz festival. And I'm also working on a soundtrack that's going to be in a VR project by Lucas Risotto um, mm -hmm. at the Tribeca Film Festival. So wow, wow. Really, yeah, it's a lot. And I'm releasing new music too. I'm working on my next EP, so mm -hmm. there's a lot going on. Yeah. But there's even something big going on. I, I heard from, from some resources, the United Nations. I mentioned oh, yes, before. Yes. Tell us about that. Oh, I'm super excited. Yes. Um, I am performing at the United Nations on April 27th. Um, they have an event there, and we're going to talk about traffic safety and road safety. And I wrote a song called Miracle that is. Um, um, how do you say the word in English? Uh, homenage, a tribute. Sorry, a tribute to um, traffic victims, and it's a subject that I've been talking about since a very young age because my dad works with it, and I think I've always been aware of the importance of that. And um, I like to be able to use my platform for you know important things and messages and causes that I really believe in. So it's I'm very flattered. It's an honor to be a part of this. Amazing. This really is amazing thing Thank for you, and and thanks to to the resources that has shared it with us so yeah, we could chat like, about it. Yeah, I was like, you guys are so ahead of the game. And the first people to ask me about 
<laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Um, environmental protection is a big part of your life. Can you tell us a bit more about this and how, you, how it came into your life? I mean, I'm very in touch with nature, and um, I think I've always been very much of a hippie living in my family in the sense that I feel like I have a connection with nature and animals. And for my second album, Reason Stay, we released the Save the Music Tree project, and it's to help the reforestation and preservation of Pau Brasil, which is the tree that named Brazil, actually, and it's used a lot for um, string instruments like violins and the violin, um, to call them. I think you used to play the violin. I keep forgetting the bow. The bow. Oh, the bow yeah. Thank you guys. I'm sorry. I am so jet lagged still. I got here yesterday and it's like. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to be able to use my music and I, for good causes. And I think being smart with the way I use my platform is very important to me in that sense. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You have a question? Okay. And uh, so, so you're going to take part in the Eurovision Song Contest. Yes. You realize it's going to be millions of people watching it. So. Uh, how, do, how do you cope with that pressure? I mean, you're going to be in front of the United Nations, but I think your vision is bigger than that. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't really feel pressure in the sense of the performance because it's what I love to do. And I mean, I'm performing my song, I've done it before, and I think a big part of my purpose as a musician is what I do on stage, being able to connect with people and tell a story and bring light to people with what I do. So I, I guess it's more... I'm competitive with myself, but I'm not so worried about the competition itself, and I'm just so excited to be there, and it's such a beautiful stage. I mean, it's such a treat to perform there with all of these talented artists, so I'm much more excited than, than <laughs> preoccupied. It's like, I'm just like, I want the day to come. Well, uh, Latvia won Eurovision in 2002 with Marianne, I wanna. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to meet Marianne here? Not yet, I would love to though. The like, okay. performance was so creative, mm -hmm. so cool. I would love to understand more of the creative process behind it. So. Uh, do you have any favorite moments of the Eurovision Song Contest and since when have you been watching it? Let me see, I don't have like a special date. I've been just like keeping up with it for years. It's everywhere, yeah. right? Um, Aminata's entry is actually one of my favorites, Love Injected. Mm. And that was one of the songs that I heard and I was just like, this is really cool and very powerful. So yeah, Latvians represent. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, uh, Laura, thank you very much for talking to us, taking thank the time to, for, for chatting with us. I've got one more question. Last question is this. Uh, you are Latvian. You're yes. born in Rio, in Brazil. Yes. You have Portuguese roots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and you have also in Italian York. roots as well. You live in New York. Oh God, so yeah. where is your heart more? My heart more. Oh, my heart. I like. The, I'm a mix. I'm a little bit of everything. So, and I, I think that's that's who makes me who I am. And every place that that I'm from, and also where I live, I think it, it's just a part of my personality, and I have a little piece of me. So every place is a little piece of me. There's not one dominant. Say. But I feel like my heart is on stage wherever I am. Really. Thank you very much. That's a really good answer. Thanks a lot. Thank good you. luck. And that was Laura Risotto for Latvia, the Eurovision Song Contest 2018 in semi final two. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.